Blessings and peace, everyone. And I hope that you guys have a terrific weekend. On my community page, I posted a quote that stated, if you feel that you're being monitored, then you probably are. And so I want to expound on that a little bit. We all know that narcissistic gang stalkers, they have a need to monitor, that they're always watching. Big Brother is always watching. And with social media and the internet, it makes it so easy for narcissistic gang stalkers to monitor supply, to monitor people. And it doesn't matter if you're old supply or new supply, you're always being watched by the narcissistic gang stalker. And sadly, the new supply is being watched even more because see a narcissistic gang stalker, when they interact with people or move from relationships to relationships, they're learning. They're learning what works, what buttons to push, what actions totally destroyed a person, you know, what actions gave them the responses from that person that they wanted. And so they kind of take a look at, well, with the old supply, you know, when I did this, this, and this, it didn't work. So with the new supply, whatever they learn that worked and didn't work on the old supply, they're going to use it on the new supply. So the new supply gets it even worse than the old supply did. But when it comes to monitoring, the narcissistic gang stalkers, because they have a need for power and control, that is what drives them to keep up with the people in their lives. Narcissistic gang stalkers, they need to control everyone around them and everything around them. And so what a better way to do that than to monitor and keep up with what everybody's doing, where they're going, how often they go, when they go, who are they seeing, you know, all of this, the narcissistic gang stalker has a need to know. It's amazing that the narcissistic gang stalker has so much time on their hand or that they're able to juggle so many relationships and so many people. And it's because they have they have this ability to compartmentalize everybody. And so, you know, when they do that, it means that they can be one way with you and another way with someone else. And so it's kind of like they're Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or two separate individuals or many different individuals in one body. And so it's like for a normal person we have a hard enough time keeping our life straight and on the straight and narrow. But a narcissistic gang stalker can juggle many things and many people at once. You know, they're good. They're like a juggler with, you know, several balls or plates up in the air. Somehow they're able to make it all work out where they can keep up with everybody and they keep people in little groups, you know, uh, they'll keep this group of people over here because when they're with them, they can act this way. They keep this group over here. They keep everybody separated and, and compartmentalized so that you will never, ever really connect and never, ever talk. Because they also fear that if certain people in certain groups got together, that they would be exposed for what who they really are and what they're capable of and what they're really out there doing. You see, narcissistic gang stalkers, they keep a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets. They have a secret life. And so it's very important for them to exercise power and control of the people that's in their lives. And it doesn't matter if it's if, if your family or relationship or a work relationship, they have to they have to juggle everybody. They have to know what's going on. You know, they have a need uh, to be the center of attention, but also they have a need to control everything and control the events, who talk to who, uh, who knows what. And it's because of all the secrets and all the lies that they possess. 
I mean, if you could open the brain of a narcissistic gang stalker and unlock the vaults, you would see so many different things that you would probably be floored at some of the things that they have going on. But anyway, getting back to the monitoring, okay? Uh, with social media, they're able to monitor you with, you know, fake pages. Um, they love to watch to see what you're doing on your social media pages, how many subscribers you have, how many followers, what you post, who you interact with in the comments section, uh, who's following you. Uh, if you attend an event or you're going somewhere or you place a picture on your social media pages, this gives them fuel. This helps them to monitor you more so they know exactly what you're doing. They never really go away. You may close the chapter, but a narcissistic gang stalker never closes a chapter because they look at you as property. And sometimes they may go away 10, 20, 30 years, but believe me, they will return. But have you ever thought about this? A narcissistic gang stalker is just one person. And yes, they have the ability to juggle many people and many events at the same time. And I would say when it comes to monitoring, maybe 70 to 80% of the monitoring is done by the narcissistic gang stalker themselves, but they need a little help. They have to have a little help from their friends. And that help comes in the form of flying monkeys. Flying monkeys, as you know, are the ones who do the bidding for the narcissistic gang stalker. They follow them blindly. They're so hypnotized, so mesmerized, so enchanted by the narcissistic gang stalker that they believe everything that comes from the mouth of the narcissistic gang stalker. What comes from their mouth is the gospel truth. These flying monkeys blindly follow and totally believe in and will defend, will defend the narcissistic gang stalker to the end. And they are the ones who help the narcissistic gang stalker to destroy the lives of another person. They carry out some of the activities. They help with the monitoring and report back to the narcissistic gang stalker. They also, they help to further along the smear campaign. Again, they blindly follow the narcissistic gang stalker. They've lost all sense of critical thinking. Basically, they will defend them to the end for events that they weren't even privy to. They will accuse you of lying and being the problem for an event that they never witnessed just because the narcissistic gang stalker said so. You know, there are two types of fly monkeys, the ones that follow blindly and the ones who know exactly who the narcissistic gang stalker is and what they're capable of. And they stay in their good graces so that they won't turn on them. But get this, karma, reaping and sowing, also visits the doors of the flying monkeys. So flying monkeys, be careful. Because when the narcissist goes down, you're going to go down with them. Mark my words.